Hello, today I'm going to talk about uh, this Japanese skincare products that has been uh, famous recently uh, and it is uh, Kiku Masamune and uh, they produce products with uh, containing sake filtrate uh, which is why uh, it has become uh, famous uh, First is their high moist lotion uh, which is actually a hydrating toner and it contains uh, sake filtrate uh, ceramic tree ceramic 6 uh, and is really hydrating uh, and suits uh, most skin types um, the regular one is in white and it contains less ingredients uh, as well as it actually contains alcohol too so uh, and less hydrating uh, but if you have really oily skin then probably you can try this one instead of the high moist uh, but one thing about this two products is I don't like the pump uh, once you actually I'm not going to do it here but once you squeeze it it will actually spread out instead of being able to pump halfway so I hope that they will do something to the pump which is why most people uh, tackle it um, and yeah they are 500 ml Kiko Masamune uh, cleansing gel and also cleansing fork the cleansing gel is of pH around 5 to 6 uh, and it doesn't foam at all which is good uh, it is actually quite uh, gentle and uh, quite uh, not bad and uh, the foam wash uh, actually of pH around 8 which is quite high so and it's really very very foamy so a little bit like a pea size can be enough for your Lastly face. Lastly would be the uh, Kiku Masamune Japanese Sake Brewing Skincare Emulsion uh, which is actually the light moisturizer uh, for oily skin type. Uh, th I use this actually as hydrating uh, body toner uh, because my Mineral oil is on the third uh, ingredient, so I'm afraid I might break up from it. So I don't try it on my body. But if you love mineral oil, then this is you're probably going to love this. Um, all Kiku Masamune products uh, contains uh, sake filtrate and also animals ingredients in it. Uh, so uh, do check it out uh, my blog list for the full ingredient list um, and before buying them um, and uh, what I noticed that from all the five products I've tried uh, all the Kiko Masamune products contain the smells of sake but to some people it smells like rotten bananas or uh, to some it smells like bubble gum so um, I'm not sure about uh, it but to me it smells like yeast like uh, ferment, how fermented rice would actually smell like yes uh, one thing about Japanese product if you plan to order it from Japan they do not uh, have the uh, expiry date except uh, the one that they send to other countries for example uh, in Malaysia you can find Kiko Masamune products in Aeon Wellness in Mid Valley or in Sambi Pyramid uh, they will have it here in the plastic bag uh, paper but then once you try it out you will not know when uh, is the expiry date but if you order from Japan the only expiry date that you will find 
not expiry, exactly expiry date, but it's the batch codes at the bottom of a bottle, which uh, most uh, Japanese people will use this the batch code to find the expiry date of the products. I can't remember the website that I used to uh, frequent last time to check, but if you buy from directly from Japan, uh, usually uh, once open, use it within twelve months. Uh, because most every year they will actually reformulate their products uh, and make new ones, new patches. Um, and oh yes, one thing about uh, using fermented products is if you have a uh, fungal acne, uh, it is best to avoid fermented ingredients uh, until you have healed. From it, uh, because yeast are known to uh, abrogate the condition, and also if you have, to, if you try using the high moss or uh, the products, but if you have uh, more than just white heads, like one or two white heads, then it is a sign of allergic. Uh, so please stop using those products immediately. Uh, and. Yes, I think uh, that's all. Uh, if you want a more detailed list um, of the ingredient list, uh, my reviews, please do check out my blog link uh, because there I have more photos uh, and also a very long winded uh, reviews on the, the individual products. So, uh, Till then, uh, see you next time, and uh, thank you for uh, watching uh, my reviews. See you, bye.